is a good dog. All right, now, <laughs> that's a thinking dog. She's going, whoa, this is interesting. You see her flash back and, yes, good, yes. You can see her little wheels starting to turn. Hmm, this is interesting. I've got her full attention. She's not wearing a leash because I don't want to restrain her. I want her, her to choose to play this game. I don't want her to, I want her to know she has the choice to leave. You're doing a nice job. So she's continuing to offer me a behavior that she's just learned I like and will pay her for. Beautiful. This is so much more pleasant than being jumped on and chewed on. And that's very nice. The next thing I'm going to do is teach her what a clicker is. This is a, a sound unique to her environment. It is precise. It is going to be used to mark a behavior that I want to see more of. It means nothing to her now. She's never heard it at all. But if I click every time her butt hits the ground and I stuff a treat in her mouth, she will start to make a relationship with that. And sometimes that happens in four or five or six clicks. That's gonna give me the opportunity when I'm walking around with her, if I see her sit and look at me, to click and walk over and reward her and identify for her what she's doing that I like lots of. That's not it. So, let's try this. Yeah, what do you think about this? So when she chooses to come back over here, if she chooses, would you like to come and play a game? Are you done? Yeah, this huh? So she's choosing to take a time out. This is big information for me. This means that that was mentally taxing for her. She likes me. She's not away from me because she's afraid or she's just distancing herself from this situation. It's new. It's a little bit confusing. So we'll give her just a minute to think about that. If she really doesn't want to come and play with me, then we will be done. But I think, I think we can make this work. Have you found something cool? Would you like to come back over here? Would you? What do you think? You are a super good dog. You're a super good dog. You're a super, super good dog. Yes, you are. Yeah, what do you think? Do you want to come back and play? Good job. Yeah. There you go. Her butt hit the ground. Click happened. Treat happened. Good girl. hit the ground, treat happened, good girl, yeah, very nice, good job. So I'm using situational environmental cues to get her to, to sit for me. <laughs> we may be done. Really? That's all we've got? Are you sure? All right, I'm going to see if I have a little more dog if I try string cheese. Ah, String cheese is a higher value reward. Um, she's probably going to think this is really, really, really cool. No jumping is going to work. I'm walking around until I'm ready. Now I have a tiny little piece of string cheese in my fingers. I'm going to slow down long enough for her to choose to sit for me. Are you going to do it? Yes! Good girl! What is that? Oh, that's really, really nice stuff, huh? String cheese is really fun! Yeah, so that I have to keep her attention. Yes, very nice string cheese is so good. Yes, it's really fun, huh? Yes. You got to move around. No, that's not fair. Good. A little slow on my part, but that's all right. You are such a nice puppy. So I'm keeping her engaged verbally. I'm moving around to reset her. Otherwise, she's just going to sit because she's figured out that's a pretty good position. Do you want to come over here to me? Do you want to come over here to me? <laughs> She's saying, you get to pay me because I'm sitting. All right, watch her. Yes, good girl. Good girl. She's not biting me. She's not wound up. She's thinking this is a fun thing. Never have I had to tell her, don't put your feet on me. Good job. Yes. Yes. Oh, you are 
that's the smartest. 